I got involved with the Commons Network on a project to try to understand how energy as a commons would modify our you know, vision of the energy system. The idea for us is to understand how the, the energy system is designed and how it's working. Some people describe this as a state of energy obesity. In the EU, where the market is playing such a big role. Perhaps the market is not the best instrument and it's not very sustainable. It's very production orientated, so we are going to try to produce more and more and more and more of it. And even renewables, they are polluting in a certain way, so we, we cannot just do uh, crazy and go crazy and increase, increase, increase. The system at the moment is really based on, you know, like a solar south, a windy north, and industrialized parts that need this energy in a big amount. So basically they make these very big schemes of transporting energy from one side of Europe to the other or even from like deserts. And we are again in a, in a system of extractivism and energy colonialism. I think if we start changing the paradigm we can to get the ownership back. You know, we can be in control of the whole system. We can decide what kind of technology we want to have. We can decide who is running it. And this is something we can do if, if energy is a commons, if all the communities are pushed and supported in, you know, developing their own energy system. It would mean that we stop having an incentive to, to use more of it, to produce more of it. We could then explore, you know, what, what is the need of a community for a certain amount of energy. And instead of producing energy for somebody else, you produce it for yourself. So you have a certain need and you don't need to expand, expand so much. This is very inclusive, principally. And it can be anybody doing that. You don't need to have a certain ideology or a certain background. It's about changing the way we look at these things.